Hello, good day everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to convert the hexadecimal to octal. First, I have here the example number 7 and B. If we're going to so look at the ASCII code or ASCII table, the equivalent of letter B in um, decimal is 12. So therefore, um, we will convert these two numbers to the decimal first. So since 7 is already decimal, so we put the 7. And since B is the equivalent of B in the decimal is 11, so we will put 11 here. So the next step is to convert these two decimal to the binary numbers. So first we have here the um, 1011 so 8 8 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 11. Next S number 7 is equivalent to 111 so 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7. Now since this is uh, hexadecimal which is required for binary numbers so therefore we will put additional zero here. Okay. Then the next is we will regroup this uh, four uh, hexadecimal numbers into three. So we will group into three the next since there is no other number here so we can put or ze zero anytime no so convert this is zero one one the next number is triple one the next is zero one Again, as I've told you, since we are talking about the octal, we need to have another zero here that make us an octal to three numbers, no? So that's it. So we already have this one, the octal, then convert these to the decimal. So the equivalent of this is one. The equivalent of this, one, one, one is seven and the equivalent of this number is three so two plus one okay so therefore our answer for the um, seven b hexadecimal to octal will be one seven three so this is it one seven three so to prove and for us to have a solution, so this is the proper solution. Converting the 7B into the hexadecimal. Okay, same method. You copy the number 7 here. 7 times 16. Then um, since B is equivalent to 11 in the hexadecimal ASCII code table, so we will put 11. Then do not forget to put the exponent. We start from 0, then 1. The next step, 7 times 16, since equal to raised to the power of 1. Then 11 times a 1, y1 again, as a review, any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. That is the exponential rule. So we will multiply this, 7 times 18 that makes 112 then 11 times 1 that makes 11 so total are these two numbers the answer is 123 so this is the solution for um, the hexadecimal now to prove that this 173 our answer no is the same as 123 we will have our solution for the octal so 173 
Let's copy here to prove that this is equivalent to 1, 2, 3. So we will solve. Same. Same procedure. You copy. So 1 times 8 because it octal plus 7. You copy the number 7 here. Times 8 octal. Then 3 times 8, then do not forget to put the exponent 0, start from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now, we will multiply the exponent. So, 8 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 64. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. The same copy. Then, 8 raised to the power of 1 is equal to 8, of course. Again, do not forget that any number raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Again, that is the exponential rule. So now we will multiply. So 1 times 64 is equal to 64. No. Then 7 times 8 is equal to 56. Then 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So we will add these three numbers. Our answer is 1, 2, 3. Still the same here. So therefore, our answer 173 is equivalent to 173 is equivalent to 123. So that's it. We're done. Thank you. God bless.